في ساحة للعلم كنا نلتقي والحب والإخلاص زاد قلوبنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم is speaking to these men he says to them that there's going to come a time there's going to come a time when the enemies of Allah will come together like you come towards a sufra. He says they will come like you go towards the sufra. And they will sit and the conversation will be you take this part of the ummah and you take this part of the ummah and I'll do this with that and I'll do... So the companions were amazed. We a prophet of Allah, we the Muslims, this will happen to us, the enemies will come together in this fashion? He says to him, yes. So one of them naturally couldn't comprehend, so he jumps up, he says, my prophet of Allah. And he's thinking already, we're little in number and we're smashing. We're little in number and we're dominating. So he's thinking, a prophet of Allah, will we be that little? Are we gonna be so few in number? That we can't even defend ourselves? He says, no. No, 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 no. He says, but antum kathir, you will be heaps. In fact, he gives the example of the froth of the sea. Millions upon millions. Millions of Muslims. I was, I don't know, 1.6, 1.7 billion. Is that even a figure anymore? 1.7 billion. Companions, Allahu Akbar, like you're putting salt to the wound. So you're telling us we're great in number, yet this is still going to happen. So I asked, why, O Prophet of Allah, why is this going to happen? He says to him, because verily, Wahan will enter the heart. So this word Wahan is not an Arab term. So the companions and looked at each other and said to my Prophet of Allah, what is Wahan? What's this Wahan that you're referring to? When this quality enters your heart, when you love this world and what it contains, and you cannot even bear the thought of death, your enemy will do this to you. Yani if, if, wallahi, sometimes I think this hadith came out last week. It's not 1400 years old. It's so relative. It's so relative. It's almost like Rasulullah said it a week ago. He says, because the quality of Wahan will enter the heart. You will love this world and you will hate to die. My brothers, the love of this world is crippling this ummah. It's crippling us. We have forgotten Allah and His Prophet. This heart, my brother, is crying for Allah. This heart is crying for Allah. But we're drowning it with the love of this world. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in the authentic hadith, he says, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِي Look how he starts. Rasulullah is taking oath by Allah, he says, by the one whom my life is in his hands. Does Rasulullah need to take an oath? Does he? Does he need to say to me, Wallahi, this is... No. He says, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِ بِيَدِي لَتَأْمُرُنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَلَتَنْهَوُنَّ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ He says, you will enjoy good and you will forbid that which is evil, meaning da'wah. You will get out there. You will be active. You will be talking about Allah. You will be talking about the humility of this world. You will be talking about death. You will be talking about His Prophet. You will give da'wah. You will stop that which is wrong. You will, you will enjoy that which is good. He says, لَتَأْمُرُنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَلَتَنْهَوُنَّ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ أَوْ لَيُوشِكَنَّ اللَّهَ أَنْ يُبْعَثَ عَلَيْكُمْ عِقَابًا مِنْ He says, if you don't do this, then verily Allah will send down a punishment upon you. ثُمَّ تَدْعُونَ لَهُمْ فَلَا يُسْتَجَابُ لَكُمْ He says, and when this punishment will come upon you, you will raise your hands to make dua to Him, and Allah will not accept your dua.